Warning, you will not actually learn anything from this video. Salutations! My name is Nedry Flanderbottom, and welcome to another episode of Education with Ned. Millions of years ago, our world was run by prehistoric reptiles named... Dinosaurs. These creatures roamed the Earth for millions of years before they ultimately went extinct. But where did they come from? What did they look like? And what led to their extinction? We're going to discuss all of that and more on this episode of Education with Ned, Dinosaurs Edition. But first, our dino hunters have to hop into their time machine and travel back millions of years to when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Oh yeah! I'm excited to catch some dinos! I have my pet lizard with me, Raggedy Ann, and she's so excited to meet some of her ancestors. I also have my dino blaster so I can kill any dinosaurs that get in my way! Seriously, Ned? You called me back? For this? Yeah, Richard! You did such a good job last time that I had to bring you back for this episode. But now, Evan is your co-star instead of the little kid. Well, I personally like to think of myself as the lead and Richard as a side character. I think I preferred the little kid more. Don't worry, Richard! I'll be in the episode later! Great! Can't wait! Okay, Dino Hunters, get into your time machine! We've got a lesson to teach! Yes! I hope we see a T-Rex, a Velociraptor, a Triceratops, but mostly a T-Rex! I really hope one of them eat him. Now, Richard and Evan are heading back 245 million years to when the earliest dinosaurs existed on Earth. This is the Triassic Period. The Triassic Period. Most of the dinosaurs that roamed the Earth at this point were small, and they were herbivores. That means they only eat plants not other dinos. Where's the T-Rex? Did you not hear what I just said? They aren't around yet. What part of the world are we in anyway? Well, Richard, it's actually funny that you say that because at this point, the world was just one giant supercontinent called Pangaea. And over the next millions of years, Pangaea split into the seven continents that we have on Earth today. So if I wanted to, I could walk to Antarctica right now. Uh, theoretically, yes. Wow! See ya! I want to go pet some penguins! <laughs> Evan, penguins aren't around yet! Aw, oh, man! No T-Rex and no penguins? When do we get to the good stuff, Ned? How dare you say that? This is all good stuff! So, were any dinosaurs around, or what? Why, yes, Richard! And here comes one now! Roar! I'm an Eoraptor! Where's your costume? I forgot to wear it! <sighs> Ned, I am not a professional actor! How do you expect me to commit to this dino hunter role if the kid won't even commit to wearing a dinosaur costume? This is so stupid. <sighs> Here, use this dinosaur puppet. Wow, this is so cool. I'm an Eoraptor. I'm only three feet tall, which is a standard height for dinosaurs in the Triassic period. How'd I do, Ned? Oh my gosh, did you actually read my script? Oh no, I just made that up. I can't read, remember? Oh, well, that was pretty accurate, but I should have known. No one ever reads my scripts. Who cares about your dumb scripts, Ned? I want to hurry this up so I can go home. Richard, take out your dino blaster and get ready to shoot the dinosaur. We're going to bring its dead body back to the future. <laughs> ah, don't hurt me, Evan, please. <laughs> are not killing any dinosaurs. These are precious creatures that need to be preserved until their extinction. You are a mean puss, Evan. I'm leaving, and I'm keeping this. I agreed to be in this video because I thought I'd see a T-Rex, and I thought I'd be able to kill some dinosaurs. So far, I haven't been able to do either of those things. Fine. You want to see a T-Rex so badly? Hop in the time machine and we'll go to the Jurassic period next. Woohoo! More dinosaurs! Oh yeah! Someone, please, end this nightmare.
The Jurassic Period. Welcome to the Jurassic Period. This is a time when dinosaurs truly started to rule the Earth. During this era, many of the well-known dinosaurs that we know of today started to pop up around the now split Pangaea. It's like that movie Jurassic Park. Exactly, Richard. Wow, that's the first time you showed any interest in this topic at all. <laughs> I like those movies because I like watching the dinosaurs destroy the humans. <laughs> That's messed up. Where's the T-Rex? I've been dying to see one. <sighs> T-Rexes still aren't around yet, but many other dinosaurs are, including the Brachiosaurus and the Stegosaurus. Just take a look at the background behind you guys. Move, move you dumb dinos, move. You realize we're standing in front of a green screen, right? Huh? Never mind. Those dinosaurs may not move, but this one does. Come on out, Stegosaurus. Roar! I'm here to eat everyone. Billy, why aren't you wearing the costume that I bought you? Oh, I sold it to buy a pizza. But don't worry, I'm wearing my red shirt because I think that's what colors Stegosauruses were. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to eat everyone. Roar! Billy, Stegosauruses were peaceful herbivores, not carnivores. What's that word mean? They only eat plants. What? That's crazy. What kind of an animal doesn't eat meat? Millions of people don't eat meat, dude. It's called being a vegetarian. Wow, that's interesting. What other facts are there about stegosauruses? Well, if you read my script that I sent you, you would know that stegosauruses are very dumb because they have extremely small brains for their giant body. <laughs> I guess that's why Ned chose you to be the stegosaurus, Billy. Hey! Actually, you were my first choice, Evan, but I made adjustments because you wanted to be a dino hunter so badly. Well, yeah, I wanted to be a dino hunter because I thought I'd be hunting real dinos. Did you think we would actually be time traveling? You know, it might have been something I was hoping for. You're an idiot. I just wanted to see a real dino. Is that too much to ask? Move, you dumb beasts, move! <gasps> Whoa, that thing is moving. I'm out of here. Oh. oh my gosh, it's real and it's coming towards me. Evan, run. Oh, right. Ah! How the heck did that happen? I have no idea. Whatever. Well, Richard, it looks like you're going into the Cretaceous period solo. As long as this video ends soon, I'm cool with that. The Cretaceous Period. Welcome to the Cretaceous Period, AKA the end of the dinosaurs. During this time, you will find many cool dinos, including the Velociraptor, the Triceratops, and of course, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. What, am I supposed to do something? I said the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't wanna go out there. Just do it, Trevor, or else I won't do your homework for you. Fine. Rawr, I'm a T-Rex. I bet you're afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you look so stupid. I know. Ned, why did you make me wear this stupid costume, bro? I thought you said you wanted to be the T-Rex, Trevor. I wanted to dress up like an awesome T-Rex. This costume is like five sizes too small for me. And Richard is laughing. I feel silly. You look silly. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, Trevor, come back. You're supposed to tell Richard your interesting T-Rex facts. I feel silly. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll do it. The T-Rex was a massive beast standing at about 12 feet tall. And they were carnivores, so they would eat their dino friends. Most of their fossils were found in the United States and Canada. So if dinosaurs were around today, they'd probably eat humans, right? Yep. That's awesome. No, it's terrifying. Hey, thanks for helping me back there. Jeez, you guys just ditched me. Sorry, dude. I thought you died. You had your dino blaster to protect you. You're fine. No, I had a Nerf blaster. And just so you know, Nerf does absolutely no damage to 
a dinosaur with impenetrable skin. Relax, dude, you survived. Barely. <gasps> oh dear. Speaking of survival, we have to get you guys out of here. The meteor shower that killed all of the dinosaurs is about to happen. Thank goodness this is over. But I still didn't get to meet the T-Rex. Evan, we have no time. You have to get on the time machine before it's too late. I am not leaving without meeting a T-Rex. I want to give their little arms a high five. Ah! What's happening? I told you the meteor shower was about to start. Hop on the time machine now. But I want to see a T-Rex. <laughs> Evan, Evan, look up here, boy. T-Rex? The sun has set on my time, but has risen for you. No! Mr. T-Rex, don't die! Get on the time machine, Evan, before you go extinct with all of the dinosaurs! I'll always remember you! <laughs> the present day. Whew. Well, thankfully, our dino hunters made it out alive with a few seconds to spare. I was totally about to leave Evan. I can't believe we just let them all die. It had to happen, Evan. Think about it. If the dinosaurs still existed on Earth, humans most likely wouldn't be able to exist. We can't be sure of that, Ned. Unless we test for ourselves. What do you mean? Let's just say I had an excellent idea on how to bring back the dinos. You stole dinosaur eggs? Yep. Time to grow my very own pet T-Rex. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well guys, it looks like I have to end the video here before Evan makes the entire human race go extinct. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what topic you want me to cover next on Education with Ned. Now I gotta find Evan before these dinosaur eggs hatch. Ah! <laughs> They're just chicken eggs. I pranked him.